Hi guys! <laughs> it's been, I don't know, five days now? I'm so sorry for not posting earlier, earlier, earlier in my mouth. Um, I managed to lo lose my headphones, so uh, yeah, I finally found them. And um, thank you guys for being patient, and this is the 8,000 subscriber special, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm going to do a QA and a in not too long. I just have to figure out how I will do that because I'm way too awkward. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. And this fanfiction is written by hi underscore c underscore sky on Wattpad. Link in the description below. It's he asked you out. My Academia X listener. So, no further ado. <laughs> Let's begin. Thank you guys. Isuk Midoriya. Attempt 1. He clenched the note tightly as he walked through the halls, searching for your locker, quickly finding it, or at least what he thought was your locker, because he saw you coming down the hall. He panicked, and stuffed the letter into the locker. Hey Midoriya! He smiled, walking past him, and the locker, he thought was yours, to the locker right beside that one. Taking out your books for the next class, you closed to your locker and, and went on your way. Bye, Midoriya. You quickly waved, heading to the class. What the hell? Wago opened his locker and noticed the letter he wrote, in intended to you. Who wrote this? Quickly rushing to class, Isuka managed to avoid his aggressive classmate. Attempt 2. Hey, Midoriya. He smiled, passing him, while on the way to the gym class. Uh, hey, Wayan! He blushed nervously, hiding the nose behind his back while nearing your shoebox. Bye, Midoriya! You waved innocently yet again, not hearing what he was trying to say. Attempt 3. Hello again, Midoriya! He smiled from under your signature tree having lunch. Jeez, it seemed like whatever I go to them, you're always there. You love taking off your earphones. Huh? <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? He accidentally shouted to do his nervousness, making you cringe a bit. Oh, sorry! <laughs> it's cool. So what are you doing out here? It's lunch, you should be having it with your friends. You're curious as to why every time lunch rolled around, Noria would always go and find you first. I told him to go without me. I kinda left my wild out here this morning. He laughed, scratching the back of his head nervously. Oh no, well, cause it's with me. I can share my lunch. You scooted over from under the tree to make room for him. N no, it's okay. I can't eat your lunch. You tried to decline, but you insisted. Yeah, but you have no, you have three. <laughs> yeah, but you have hero training after, right? You need that energy. You took out your bento box. Oh wow, thanks. He sat down grace gratefully as you started to feed him. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't bring any extra chopsticks, so I guess we'll have to share. He shrugged nonchalantly as he tried feeding, feeding his. He lit off like a tomato, but accepted. The rest of the lunch was spent that way, with you feeding him while he continued thanking you while being, while you talked about random things. Thanks, Wayne. I promise to make it up to you. <laughs> you don't have to. He laughed, wiping his face. Maybe I could take you to... I just want to give you this. The bell rang. <laughs> the bell rang, startling Izuku as he let go of the note, causing it to fly away in the wind. You put your earphones on to stop the pain. To stop the pain and sighed. Oh, lunch is over already. You found. Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you. See you around, Midoriya. Wait. Instead of letting you go, he grabbed you by the shoulders and turned you around, getting your attention. Huh? What is it, Midoriya? You are taking off your taking your ear muffs back on. 
I... Will you... Will you go out with me? He stood there for a minute, processing what he was saying, what he had said, mainly because of his loud voice. Finally understanding what he had said, he laughed at his nervousness. Why well, didn't just say so, dummy? The whole time was... The whole time he was trying to ask you out, it took him this long to do it. I was unable to give a response, making you laugh even further. Midoriya, it's me. You don't have to be nervous around me. He smiled, cupping his face in your hand. I'd love to go out with you. Katsuki Bakugo You two have all have caused Quite a bit of damage this week from our concert fighting. Sorry, Sawa. It's not my fault. It's not my fault you keep pissing me off. It's not my fault you have such a punchable face. Most people are saying you act like an old married couple. Read over the paper of school damages and comments of witness that saw fights. Who the hell has been saying that? You gagged. Tell me, I'll burn into crisp. Growled Bakugo. Oh, isn't that surprising? Using your stupid quirk is what got us in this mess in the first place. Shut it, man hands. I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, you obviously need it, firecracker. You're really testing me, man hands. Call me man hands again? I dare you. You threatened about the activity quirk, but before either of you could start, I saw one nullified your quirks. I thought of a great idea of punishment for the two of you. What the hell is this? We both shouted in annoyance as Asawa used his scarf to tie your tie your hands together with his. Since you want to act like a married couple, you two will spend the next. You two will spend the, spend the weekend together and trying to get along. Since you'll be outside of school, you won't be able to use your quirks, and more than you, more that you struggle, the tighter the bond. This bullshit. You growled underneath your breath. And if you get along by the end of the weekend, you'll if you don't get along in the end of the weekend, you'll be expelled from UA. That sent you two in a state of shock. This was not going to be easy. Good luck. He then left. Great. So what do we do now? You asked bitterly, unhappy with your situation. What do you want? Do you do you when? Oh, shit, I can't. What do you do when you leave school? He asked, not looking at you. Huh? Did I stutter? What the hell do you do after school? He was actually interested in what he wanted to do. You were cut off guard. The response was stuttered. I, I, I uh, usually go to the little bakery in the town. Lame, we're going to get some spicy ramen. He walked, dragging you around behind him, almost making a trip. Well, why the hell did they ask that me, the mask? He growled, stumbling behind him. Shoto Todoroki A party? Asked Rodako. Yes, my family hosts it every year. You and the class when and girls were all out by the pool, while the boys were out on the track across from you during PE. Whoa, Impro Heroes are going! Smiled Ashido. Are you sure it's okay if we go? Of course, but you all have to bring dates. Saying that sent them all in state of interim panic. What? I know, isn't it great? He squealed excitedly. Well, what are you bringing, Wen? I see you curiously. I usually arrive alone and meet up with Shoto, but not this year. You shouted through pathing. Through what does that say? Dream Pantley. This year I'll make him my first I'll make him my date, if that's the last thing I do. Why don't you just ask him? Asked Momo. 
You scoffed at her simplest answer to your trouble. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Oh, Momo-chan, that's not how it works. You grabbed her by the shoulders, bring her closer into your crazy ass fantasy. This is, this is how it will go. Your dream. Sorry. Oh, my end, darling. I've been longing to accompany you to the party, but I've always been too nervous to ask. Taraki got on one knee while holding your hand in his, but not this time. He looked deeply into your eyes. Wen, my love, will you go out with me as my girlfriend? End of fantasy. Of course, sure, I will, Shodokun. I thought you'd never ask. You accidentally gushed out loud. Never ask what? Asked Hiroki, walking up towards the fence that separated pool and track. He had just finished his last lap and wanted to see what you were so excited about. Ah! You screamed out of shock. Uh, oh, it's nothing. I didn't say anything. You sure? You seem a bit more happy than usual. Oh, Shuriken, you're so thoughtful. You cried over dramatically that he actually noticed your change in mood. It's okay, you don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. This is his crazy weather and the chlorine making me kind of loppy. So there is no n- You're rambling, rambling. What's going on? You got the often quickly noticing your reddened cheeks. She just really nervous about her family party this weekend. Thank goodness for Uraraka stepping in. Oh yeah, I thought I forgot about that. Oh really, Shuriken? Yes, excitedly. Then that means you haven't asked any more yet. Have you decided on who you want to take? Yes, a little too rushed. Yeah, are you going? W well, yeah, of course. Okay. He began walking off, startling you. H hey, wait! What? He asked, taking a drink from his water bottle. Is there something else you want to ask me? Is there? He shrugged, not knowing what else he should ask you. He looked genuinely confused, and that's when that, and that's what hurt you most, that it even then didn't even cross his mind to ask you to go with him. Taroki. Break one person. Taroki, quick slacking, or is we going to give you an, give us all an extra lap? Cried Kaminari. All right, I'm coming. He sighed in annoyance. I gotta go. See you later. He waved. Y yeah. He watched Sally as he ran off. What the frick is that the end? What? Okay. Sorry. Tokoyami Fumikage. Weekend poetry classes? Yes, I saw Tokoyami you're proud of the idea where the two of you should go this weekend since you didn't have any plans. Oh, thanks, Tokoyami. You're so sweet, but I can't. What? Okay. He laughed nervously. I'm not allowed to go out there anymore after the an incident with the stray candle. You nervously scratched the back of. You nervously scratched the back of his head. What, the <laughs> what about a movie? He realized his mistake as soon as she said it. I'm confused. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> uh, it's okay, to Tokoyami. You couldn't see it, but you sense his tense aura, nervous, trying to come up with another date location. Then how about this a nice roll in the park? That sounds fun. He beamed. And there's plenty of cute animals there too. Then it's the date. The bell rang, sig signifying the end of school. As your cousin is on cousin is on the way to talk walk to with Frick. As your cousin cousin is on his way to walk you him to walk you him I see you later. Bye Takayami You smiled, waving goodbye, just as Shinsa walked up to you. You ready to go? Frick. You ready to <laughs> sorry You ready to go? Ah Shinso. Yeah. Did he just ask you out? Uh huh? Yes, nervously. N no, of course not. He's just. 
thought that since I didn't have any plans this weekend, he'd find something fun for us to do. He explained, causing Shinzo to look at you bli- blink- blinkly. That is literally the definition of a date. Your cheeks immediately reddened at this new fact. W- what? Tenya Ira. An academic festival? He took your eyes off the fly- flyer Ira has printed and questioned. Why well, wanted the student council to help fund an outdoor event for the internal pro heroes? Well, yes, Miss Ellen. It would be a great way to make yourself known, not only location but internationally. He continues to explain why the two of you should go along as representatives. Yeah has always been known to the world as a place where pro heroes are made, but they never exactly know what's happened behind the scenes, and now exactly we students function in our school especially in our academics department. It would be great to give some recognition for our business toward and general studi- studi- students. Wow, that was a mouthful. And why exactly should you and I go specifically? After all, you both were in the hero course. Well, there's always been a stigma against those courses. If they go by themselves, they wouldn't get as much attention. If you go in this main representative car, Chaperones. I'm sure we could shed some light their way. After all, you students must stick together. Won't we decay from our goal then? He raised an eyebrow. Spectacularly. After all, we're both from well known pro hero families. All the more better reason for us to go together. He sh- he's shivering, trying to keep his composure from the wave of nervousness that hit him as he tries coming up with plausible possible excuses. Like you said before, our families are very well known. It'd be best if we had a famous face introducing our lesser known students' courses. With one last glance at the very very paper you side, giving your final answer. Very well. Whoa, that is the one took a lot out of me. Oh my god, I didn't know I could read so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> and fun fact. In the middle of the, I think, the Bakukatsuki one, if you hear a lot of stops in that, it was because my friend, you have seen her in my live streams, she asked me to do her freaking math homework. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> it was like, where do should you put these things for the freaking problem to be correct? Um, it was just confusing. Yeah, but I got through it. I got through it. I just didn't expect to do math. Oh my god. Math is not my best skill, but it's not my worst skill. I'm worse in my own language. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> it went on my test and everything. I'm rambling, sorry. <laughs> but thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers. It's a goal I never thought I would hit, to be honest. I'm super happy and I love you all so much. Have a good night there, afternoon. Bye. Thank you again.